for all those who are out and under the anointing i declare the same way the holy ghost located you i declare speed speed with results in the name of jesus the christ of god some of you are representing families some of you are representing ministries you are representing businesses may that grace speak for you no power in existence will stop you from walking in this anointing in the name of jesus the christ of god listen speed is one of the dominion systems over time because the unit of destiny is time and everything that lacks time speed is more than progress speed dominion over time in the name of jesus let it be we declared by the spirit of grace you came to church to encounter grace and we prophesy by the god of heaven just like the dear man of god minister no sasang now your way is his way to, to to bring speed to our lives sustainable results matthew chapter 7 please give us verse 24 to 27 matthew chapter 7 therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine the bible says and doeth them i will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock reading to 27 and the rain descended listen carefully and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house everything that happened to the other fellow building on sand happened to this same man the bible says and it fell not why for it was founded upon a rock 26 and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand last verse and the rain descended the floods came the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell here's what the bible says and great was the fall of it you must trust god for grace to get out of these balloon results up today down tomorrow are we together now the bible declares that the path of the just can be as a shining light when it is not built by patterns it will not last i assure you no matter how flamboyant it looks don't trust it because of the aesthetics trust it because of the patterns that when the rain comes when the wind blows it will stand because it was built upon the rock ministry let it be built upon patterns there are many people for instance who start ministry just because they heard the voice of god <laughs> that looks very spiritual but it's a dangerous motivation for ministry god told me go and start ministry that's wonderful so why did you start the ministry i know that god told me i am sending you to heal the sick i am sending you to be an evangelist the voice of god must submit to the patterns for church growth otherwise you will be surprised that even though it is god sending you you will suffer as if it's not his voice is not in your life are we together there are many sincere people who are under all kinds of limitations in life because they exalted prophecy they exalted the speakings of spirits they exalted the advices of men even well-intentioned people above the patterns of god hear me if you never hear any audible voice and all you do is submit to the integrity of scripture you will have the result that is greater than one who hears every day and does not walk in the patterns listen to what i'm telling you africa is a place of a lot of spirituality delving now into superstition our strength is based on the numerous noise of voices sincere and insincere all together none of them let me tell you no matter how well meaning sustains the ability to keep a man you must subscribe to the patterns 
no matter who prophesies or blesses your business it does not sustain the ability to produce results transgenerationally until in addition to that voice and that prophecy you subscribe to the pattern that makes for longevity of anything are we together patterns are powerful sustainable results fruits that abide you want to build something that lasts please look up you want to be in ministry or in business or in whatever endeavor you are involved in for a very long time leaders are intentional people they are men of mastery nobody wins the olympic by mistake When you have the patterns, you can not only perpetuate the results, you can reproduce them anywhere regardless. It is true. It is true. Patterns give you sustainability, look up please, and predictability to your results. When you are up today and down tomorrow, favor today, disfavor tomorrow laughing today smiling tomorrow there's too much amateurism and guess what in your work you have to back up and begin to study the patterns that bring predictability to your life are we together for instance using business people as a case study there are many wealthy and blessed people today who rose to the ranks of, of financial abundance through knowledge they can reproduce and perpetuate their result regardless the geographic region regardless the policies surrounding them because they built by light there are others who respectfully speaking maybe just looted from the treasury even though they have it they can't perpetuate it they can't reproduce it because it did not come through understanding hallelujah god is giving you predictability because you see when you succeed Usually men will believe you are lucky. <laughs> but when your results become sustained, there's no more luck there. You don't become sustainably successful by luck. Gentiles can come to your light, but their kings only come to the brightness of your rising. This is true for any aspect of life, politics and governance, business, ministry, career, family whatever it is provided you hold the keys the patterns that are responsible for that outcome i had the privilege of watching god's servant i couldn't make it and i was watching the 40th anniversary of the living faith and while i heard him preach at a point quite honestly i was not just listening to the sermon again i was saying i remember or i can imagine when the ministry was say 10 or 15 years probably he said after 40 years we'll still be doing this i'm sure there are people who said you are not sure but now after 40 years when i looked at papa copeland in his 80s speaking with such conviction i said patterns are dangerously powerful they look like they will fail but you will keep working with them for a long time and they will not fail the simplicity of patterns is why they are not trusted patterns are deceptfully simple if it be thou bid me come come he said and such a complicated issue like walking on water suddenly becomes child's play because someone learned to obey the master spiritual patterns give you predictability and sustainability let me tell you this 30 years if christ tarries 40 years if christ tarries you will still be standing and waxing strong and moving forward because you are not moving yourself forward there is an agency a combination of the spirit and understanding moving you forward fear your result if it just happened but if it happened by patterns rest leads me to the third point spiritual patterns give us peace and confidence 
it's one thing to have results but it's another thing to trust and to be secured in the results that you have peace and confidence isaiah 33 and verse 6 it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times when you have wisdom when you have knowledge it gives you stability you no longer are afraid of your results why because the some of you here are chefs some of you here are wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as i am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are given 30 minutes or two hours cook something you have to sign that whatever i cook you must eat it so that i don't know i'm i'm sure that i'm not wasting my time are we together i'll have to pray except if the holy ghost just appears and says add this after 10 minutes add this it's not that bad but i think it's not good too i'm not are we together yeah why it's not because the food cannot be made there is a lot of guessing you'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing i'll add and then add any other thing mix them i'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it and say lord i unto you i commit this meal but there are some of you here even if we say cook for all of us even if it's for twenty thousand people all you need is space and time you will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge you are not afraid of what you are doing the number does not matter the formula is the same are you seeing that now yes so you are no longer afraid of your results listen god is helping you to take away fear the moment you are afraid can i deliver can i not deliver that is a report card go back and become a master masters don't fear they, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top they are secured by it when you say god help me he does not say ah you are about to disgrace my name we're talking of the ancient of days he now says claire let me see that challenge god i've never seen it he said it doesn't matter i'm creator i can take it out of the way mastery we must fade away fear from our lives fear of producing results god blesses your business you make great gain and you are afraid because you are sure it will not last the moment you are sure it's not it will not last you are right it won't last I'm called into ministry what is the guarantee that I'll still be blessing people what is the guarantee that if I stand on the crusade ground the sick will be healed what's the guarantee that if I speak God is directing me and saying I'm blessing people I'm imparting someone ah let me not announce it oh what if I now say your name is John and nobody comes out what if I now say God is giving speed and everybody is looking at you no it is a call for mastery you go back and learn the ways of the spirit how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind his power at work in you, changing everything in obedience to Christ. Tonight, swallow your pride. Tonight, come to the school of the Spirit. Don't you know, in His hands are the keys to eternal life. It's a little here a little dear and then your day will dawn he's at work in you changing everything in obedience to christ he's the holy ghost he's the holy ghost he's the spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings is the Holy Ghost the seal of the age to come? 
He's changing everything in obedience to Christ. Rearranging everything in obedience to Christ. You are building everything in obedience to Christ. Please sit down. We have to pray. Peace and confidence. Leviticus 26 and verse 6. A scripture I found that blessed me years ago. Please read with me if you are a Christian. Ready? One to read. And I will give you peace in the land. Say amen. amen. Let's keep reading. And ye shall lie down and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land. Peace. Why? Job told us the secret that the Lord would deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. He said, because you have a covenant with the stones. Do you know what that means? That every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work. But I have a covenant with them. So when you use them against me, they would not work. They were authorized to support me and not fight me. Whether you use water, whether you use the stones, whether you use the rocks, whether you use animals, there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment and no divination can stand. So I find rest. I can sleep with my eyes closed. Please sit down. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day the noisome pestilence, the destruction, help them please, that wasted in noonday. There are all kinds of evils sweeping across our world. You get up in the morning, you are stretching outside, you just receive something you have no business receiving. You return back into a life of tragedies. Someone shout no way. And confidence many believers are afraid we pray out of fear we walk out of fear how am I sure that if I lose this job there is a way out how am I sure my destiny will be fine now that I'm 40 or 50 or 60 how am I sure they are not going to diagnose me with maybe kidney or prostrate fine rest I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God. Truly I will be still and know you are God. My soul be still and know you are God is giving us peace and rest. It used to be elderly people who have high blood pressure. Right now you see teenagers moving around, talking as if they are 50 years. Someone who is 19, speaking foolishly. What is wrong? And he's not even aware. May that spirit be far from your life. Far from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Worry. There are people who sleep, they have to take pills that are as full as my hand. In their, their teens, their 20s, their 30s, their 40s, it's almost killing you. Find peace. Mastery of the patterns of God. Can, you can secure his presence. You can know he's there. Waiting for a feeling is nonsense. You can know he's there. I will be still. Know you are God. We will be still and know you are God. But, Apostle, while I'm being still, how shall these things be? Seeing that I know not a man, how shall these things be? How shall my life be lifted? Are you sure God will not disappoint me? 
should I truly put all my eggs in one basket? If it is the divine patterns of God, you can die believing him, I assure you. But before you make boast, be sure that you are walking by his patterns. Because if you are not walking by his patterns, shame is imminent. But if by his patterns, then you can be sure that his divine power can give men all things that pertains unto life and godliness. Listen to me. God in this season is going to be challenging many of you to do a lot of things. Ambitious things. Daring things. He's going to give you instructions. You may do what you have never done in your life before. Find rest. Trust the patterns. Even if you do not trust yourself. For some of you, God will speak to you and say, all right, by next month, start that building. And the only thing you have is 10 bags of cement and a land you are still negotiating. And God will say, you go and get one trailer of sharp sand. Pour it there, let the devil see it. That the hand of Zerubbabel. Let me tell you this. God can only become Omega if you allow him become Alpha. If you refuse, I initiate that dimension. Lord, you must be Alpha. Then he's guaranteed to be Omega. Write this down. The Bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns. The Bible is a coded compendium. Bible is a coded compendium. Listen carefully. The Bible is a coded compendium of spiritual patterns that lead to various kinds and various levels of extraordinary results. I was teaching the school of ministry students, I think it was yesterday, and we were examining pneumatology and I was telling them that the Bible, just because every kingdom has secrets, are we in agreement? Every kingdom has secrets. And the secrets are hidden, listen carefully. They can hide the treasures of the kingdom somewhere. There can be coded doors. Some of the doors are even hidden in dimensions. It's not a physical door. You invoke, you enchant things and then the doors appear. They are hidden in dimensions. Planes of reality. The Bible, this book you see, is more than a book with information. It is a compendium of coded secrets from the Old Testament to the New Testament, the Gospels, the Epistles, down till Revelation. It is coded and full of mysteries that control different levels of results. Just reading them intellectually may not grant you access to all of those coded information. The Bible says, let me show you a scripture that will bless you very quickly and then